The safety of users is a top priority for organizations who provide radio communications. Clear, concise communications are critical to worker safety. So in this video, we will provide six principles that demonstrate the best way to use a microphone to ensure clear, concise communication. Although we're using a speaker microphone in a portable, these principles apply when speaking directly into a portable or when using a mobile radio microphone as well. Now, this radio is set to analog FM mode. And although it has some noise cancellation and voice enhancement technology, I've turned that off to help the demonstration of what can go wrong when you don't do things the right way. First, you need to push and hold the PTT button throughout your transmission. A common mistake many users new to radio make is starting their conversation before they finish pressing the PTT button or letting go of the PTT button before their transmission is complete. Although you might only miss one or two words, those one or two words could be very important. Many trunked and digital radios will provide the user a beep, so make sure you wait for the beep before speaking. Second, you should hold the microphone between two and five centimeters from your mouth. A common mistake is talking too far away from the microphone. This makes the audio more susceptible to room noise, reverb, and harsh tones. On the flip side, getting too close to the rear mic can be bad too. You'll pick up excessive breathing, mouth noises, and pops from letters like P and T, which are called plosives. Many users keep their radios on their lapel, uh, which works great because it's about that right amount of distance. So two to five centimeters or one to two inches. Next, you should talk past the microphone instead of directly into it. When you talk straight into it, that creates a lot of plosives. Uh, those gusts of air, puffs of air, go from your mouth into the microphone and can cause some trouble. Pivot the mic around your mouth so that you're talking past the mic instead of into the mic. Again, keeping it on your lapel will help ensure that you talk past the microphone instead of directly into it. Fourth, don't rattle the microphone. Try to avoid movement of the microphone in your hand while transmitting. Any movement can translate into background noises or inconsistent volume levels, which detract from the quality of the transmitted signal. Fifth, when possible, avoid noise around the microphone. What you do away from the mic is just as important as in front of the microphone. So if possible, avoid loud keyboards, squeaking chairs, cracking knuckles, whispered conversations, background noisemakers, and anything else. It's always better to speak in a quieter area. So if possible, move to a less noisy location to improve the quality of your speech. Or at a minimum, try and cover up to block some of that outside noise. And sixth, speak clearly in your normal voice. That means you don't need to shout. And you don't want to speak too fast because it makes it difficult for people to understand you. Divide your message into natural phrases rather than individual words so that what you say flows smoothly. So there you have it. Following these six principles when you use your radio will improve audio clarity and therefore increase safety.